What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the leaked info we have uh, kind of surrounding Season 2 multiplayer. I know we have 40-something days uh, left on Season 1. I think it's like 45, 46 days, something around that uh, kind of time frame. But there's been a lot of leaks already about Season 2. Before I get into all the information, be sure if you're not subscribed, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the content, hit the like button. And of course, check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. Now there's always a lot of leaks that come out about Call of Duty. Some are more viable than others, depending on who the person is that's getting this leaked information, who's getting the data mined information. But um, when it comes to leaks, just kind of take it with a grain of salt. Uh, a lot of these uh, leaks usually come true. But at the same time, they are data mined information. So, you know, you never can know 100% if it's actually going to be in the game or not because some things are, you know, found in files that never, you know, come to light when it comes to, you know, actually being put in game. But the MW2 Ghost on Twitter has, I would say, most, most of the time has been pretty much spot on with all the leaks that, are, that, that is put out on that Twitter page. I would say about 90% of the time, most of the stuff that is leaked on the MW2 Ghost Twitter is usually something we will see in-game eventually. So some of the leaks that have been talked about, of course, um, one really not a leak, but the new zombie map coming for Black Ops Cold War Season 2. We already know that's kind of been confirmed uh, from Treyarch. Was not a lot of new information on that, but the things that they kind of got to talking about were the things that were, uh, or the thing that was talked about on the Twitter was the things that are coming to the multiplayer itself. Um, some new maps, not really new maps, one new map apparently, and two remastered maps. The two remastered maps that are supposedly coming back are going to be Firing Range and Summit. And I know a lot of people are going to be kind of upset with that, I guess, and some people probably will be happy with that. Um, Firing Range and Summit have almost turned in kind of like Nuketown, in my opinion. They have made an appearance in a lot of CODs over the last few years. Uh, they were in, of course, they were brought back in Black Ops 4 as well. Um, but if I really think about it, even though that I would like to see new maps, and I've talked about this in past videos, at the same time, there are some really good uh, COD kind of classic maps that I think are going to be hard to ever beat, and Firing Range and Summit are two of those. Um, so it looks like those are going to be coming back, uh, along with Raid, and if you really think about it, in my opinion, Firing Range, Summit, and Raid were probably three of the best maps in game. I don't mind some of the multiplayer maps that came out with the game originally, uh, Crossroads Strike is probably one of my favorites out of the new maps. Uh, the rest of them are just okay. I don't really have a favorite uh, out of those. None of those really stand out. And if I sit here and think about it, none of them stand out like Firing Range or Summit or even Raid. So it looks like that's probably how Call of Duty is going to continue to be over the next several years. We'll come out with you know a couple maps at the beginning of, of the life cycle of a Call of Duty game that are new. Then they're going to remaster a lot of maps from past COD games, which is fine with me. Like I said, a lot of this content is free now. We're not paying for it in you know in a battle pass. So the good thing about it is, uh, in, in in past titles where you had to pay for like or you know not a battle pass but a season pass when you had to pay for the season pass, a lot of people were upset that they were putting a lot of remastered maps in there and you were having to pay for them. And I can understand that. But now that we're getting free uh, maps with all these different seasons, I think bringing back some of these uh, you know fan favorites, some of these classic maps won't be as bad. Uh, kind of, you know, as a lot of people thought of it was uh, in the past. Leave me a comment, though, and let me know what other maps you would like to see kind of return. There's some other really good Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 maps that I can think of that I would really like to see return to the game. And I'm kind of hoping they kind of get into that cycle of, instead of just bringing out a couple maps at the beginning of each season, maybe they'll start bringing out some maps at the middle of the season. But there are, like I said, three rumored maps, Firing Range and Summit, and one new map. So we may be getting three 6v6, uh, three 6v6 maps in total when Season 2 is released. Also, some other news. Uh, we kind of have, have seen the screenshots that Treyarch even put out of a uh, character using a flamethrower. Now, that is still rumored to be coming out, but another fan favorite kind of score streak has been seen in game as well, seen in the files. And the MW2 Ghost was the one that leaked this as well, and that is the K9 unit. Now, the K9 unit is probably one of my favorite um, score streaks overall out of any Call of Duty game. I don't know what it was. They were just really, really fun to use in some of those older uh, Treyarch uh, Black Ops games. And it is rumored to be coming uh, out as well. So I'm not sure if we're going to get the Flamethrower and the K9 unit, if it's going to be just one or the other this season. Uh, if it's going to be one, you know, at the beginning of the season, maybe one at a mid-season update for season two. But if the K9 unit does return, I think that's going to be a lot of fun to use. I mean, uh, it's kind of, 
not as as uh, satisfying, I guess, in my opinion, if I think about it, to use it as it would have been in some past Call of Duty games because of the way the score streak system is set up in Black Ops uh, Cold War. Uh, I call it kind of a, a participation award when you get score streaks in this game because you really don't have to do much. I mean, as long as you play pretty decent, you're going to be able to get a good m amount of streaks. I kind of wish they would go back with the old score streak system. You know, everything resets on death, but that's not going to happen. So I'm going to be kind of curious to see how high of a score streak this is. It's going to be the highest score streak in the game because if, they, the, if the K9 unit is, is as good as it was in the past, it's going to be very, very uh, interesting to see you know, kind of what score you have to have to get them. Because if it's really overpowered, it's really strong, it's really good. Because a lot of the score streaks in the game aren't that great, in my opinion. The Chopper Gunner is just okay. The VTOL is eh, not really that good. Uh, so some of these higher tier score streaks are not really, really, really good, I guess, uh, as they would have been in past games. And if the dogs are actually insane like they were in the past, I think they could have a problem with, you know, people are going to start to say they're too easy to get or whatever the case may be. But, of course, if it is the highest here streak in the game, you know, we'll kind of have to wait and see. But hopefully uh, the K-9 unit will come out. The flamethrower, you know, I, it's, it's, it is it's what it is. I don't really care about the flamethrower. But, of course, we have all heard the info about a lot of the operator's uh, weapons, you know, that we had, the, the, the kind of specialist, uh, the specialization weapons we had in Black Ops 4. A lot of those things have been found in the game files. And of course, we already have the grenade launcher, or, you know, the tube as one of the uh, streaks, you know, the war machine kind of weapon. Uh, we have one of those as one of the streaks in game already. So are they going to start bringing back like the Annihilator pistol and things like that? I'm not sure. A lot of those things, like I said, have been found in the files. So we kind of have to wait and see if all these start to return as score streaks instead of kind of a, a specialization streak for each individual operator. Some other things, of course, we know that are going to come out. And this thing, uh, one thing that I think a lot of people are going to be interested in is the things that are going to be coming out for zombies next week. They said, or Treyarch has kind of been teasing uh, day 115, some new things for zombies. So that will be next week. We'll kind of have to wait and see, or this coming week, we'll kind of have to wait and see exactly what that's going to be. So whenever we find out that information, I will make a separate video for that. And I just want to kind of, like I said, kind of want to know what you guys think. What maps would you like to see return? Uh, would you rather just see brand new maps? Would you rather see some uh, older maps like Standoff and things like that come back? Because I think that would be a really good map in my opinion. And also, what kind of kill streaks would you like to see come back? Would you like to see some of the other kill streaks from uh, past Black Ops games return to the game? Or are you kind of happy with the idea of some of these operators' weapons coming back as kill streaks? I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of that, honestly. Um, it's going to be kind of goofy to me if they start adding in all those weapons. I don't think they'll add them all, but just in general, give me an idea what you guys think. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.